Well, Brazil has become a destination for investing, and our next guest is no exception. He's Tom Shapiro, the president, founder, and chief investment officer of Golden Tree Insight Partners, one of the largest private equity investors in Brazil's real estate market. Shapiro manages about $1.3 billion of committed equity, with half of that in the Brazilian real estate market. Tom, great to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, the other half is in the U.S., is that right? Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay. So, uh, you know, we were just talking with Josh Kushner and, and, and Daniel Caffey, you know, these two young guys who've, you know, built this business in Brazil. Um, and, and I suspect that their users, right, are, are this rising youth middle class or, or, or whatnot. They've got the disposable income to do this. So they must be plowing some of that money also into real estate. And that must be what's driving your view. A absolutely. I mean, one of the things about Brazil is that it has a very young population. Uh, the average age is about 27 and a half years old. So what you're starting to see right now is about 35 percent of the population right now is coming into the most productive years of, the, of their lives. So that should go up to about 45 percent. So that's clearly one of the big drivers right now, what we're seeing. Um, Brazil, we wish the U.S. was in the same type of situation. Brazilian GDP growth last year was about 7.6 percent. Mm. Um, we had uh, unemployment rate of 5.7 percent. So you know, these, these fundamentals are just tremendous. And we had 36 million people enter the middle class in Brazil. So w what's happening right now is that you've had a tremendous population right now that are becoming a consumer class. Uh, and that's good with the fact that there's been very, very low mortgage availability. So that's one of the things that's driven the market quite a bit. And uh, that's up to the government to make mortgages more available. Yes and no. It's both the government and the private sector. Uh, one of the key things that changed is there's been very good policy that's happened over the last few years. For example, uh, as of five years ago, the best mortgage you could get would be 10 years at, say, 14 percent interest. Today, wow. you have single-digit interest rates with, uh, with tenors of 25 to 30 years. Uh, one of the issues that existed before is the government had a senior lien right over any property that was mortgaged. So, for example, if somebody didn't pay their federal income taxes, forgetting about their property tax, but actually didn't pay their federal income taxes, the government could seize their property really? in, front of the, in front of a private mortgage lender. So clearly there was almost no private mortgage lending up until a few years ago. And that's so it is, yes, that's now, so that law has been changed now. So you have both private and, and the government right now providing mortgage. So we only, now we've gone from 2% uh, mortgage as a percentage of GDP to 5%. Uh, the estimate is that's gonna go to 11%. Just to put that in perspective of where it could go, the U.S. is at 65%. The UK is at 74 percent. Even Jeez. Mexico is at 10 percent. So you can see a tremendous amount. You have 36 million people in the middle class. You have prosperity. You have people now moving out. Typically, most younger people actually live at home. We're starting to see that change. So we're actually starting to see household sizes start to go down as people move out as they start to make money. So we're seeing tremendous demand right now in the housing sector. So then, Tom, you're investing in developers of what then in the real estate market? Well, we're either investing in developers. We're actually developing ourselves. We have about 11 million square feet under construction in Brazil right now. We've this is eight, residential? Uh, we have 8,000 apartment units. We have about 3 million square feet of office. Uh, we have about 2 million square feet of logistics right now under construction. So we, we invest across all different asset classes in Brazil. And is it in Sao Paulo or are you looking regionally too? We focus on Sao Paulo and, and Rio. We're more focused lately on Rio where we think the bigger opportunity is right now. Okay. And what are, what are the kind of returns that you're expecting, if you can generalize I'm that Unfortunately, I can't really speak to returns. Okay. Uh, what about then, compare that, because I mentioned that half of your money is in the U.S. market. So yes. compare uh, how you're looking for opportunities in Brazil versus how you're looking for them in America. It's a very different situation. Unfortunately, the U.S. right now is the new emerging market. So for, <laughs> for the U.S., it's really a distressed opportunity right now. We're very focused on the housing sector right now. I think most people think we don't read the papers, uh, but uh, we see that that's really one of the biggest opportunities is tremendously distressed right now. Um, we're only building in the U.S. about 450,000 homes a year as opposed to two plus million. Um, that's going to, we haven't built that few homes since World War II when there's a third of the population. So we're starting to see where there'll be pent up demands and there are pockets around the country like for example in Northern California in Washington D.C. Uh, in Texas, where we have actually been financing home builders uh, throughout throughout those markets, and so we've been very wow. active in the, actually in the U.S. housing market right now. We've been we're investing uh, invest about a quarter of a billion dollars over the last year. Um, in Brazil, it's obviously a much different story, where um, there's been a tremendous lack of financing. Uh, it's been tremendously underserved. Uh, vacancy rates in office, for example, are running two to four percent, which is the lowest as any large economy markets have. Uh, housing market 
uh, deficiency of the national numbers are about 8 million housing units short. Uh, yeah. We believe that over the next decade that number will be is about 12.2 million based on our own proprietary uh, housing studies. So, okay. uh, so it's a very different market where you're actually building for a need in Brazil and in the U.S. It's just, it's just taking advantage of the distress. Okay. Tom, on that note, I have to leave it there. Thank you. Thank you very much. For stopping by. I appreciate it. Tom Shapiro of Golden Tree Investments. And